the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are each involved in our prayers. Jesus gives us access to the Father and pleads on our behalf. The Holy Spirit lives within the believer, interceding in prayer with groanings too deep for words. And God the Father is full of compassion. He listens when we cry out to Him, provides for our needs, and forgives our sins. Which leads us to an interesting question from one of our viewers. It's something you've probably wondered about, too. The email reads, Which member of the Trinity should I direct my prayers to? The Father, the Son, or the Holy Spirit? Well, that's a frequently asked question, so let's look at it for a moment. God is one, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. I think about it in this light. God the Creator, Jesus the Savior, and Holy Spirit the Enabler all make up the Godhead, which is one. In John 10.30, he said, I and the Father are one. In John 15.23, he says, If you hate me, you hate the Father. In John 14.9-11, he says, If you've seen me, you've seen the Father. And then remember the prayer that all of us have been taught so many years ago. Listen to what he says. Pray then, our Father who is in heaven. We call that the Lord's Prayer. Jesus prayed to the Father on the cross. You and I can pray to Jesus. There is no record in the Scripture of anybody praying to the Holy Spirit. So somebody says, well, is it wrong uh, to pray for God to answer prayer, speaking to the Holy Spirit or to one part of the Trinity or the other? No. Remember this. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit make up the Trinity. While there are three distinct persons, there are also ultimately one, one Godhead. And so when we think in terms of our prayers, we can pray Heavenly Father or we can pray Lord Jesus or I can tell you how I feel personally about it. Sometimes when I'm about to do something for the Lord and in some area of ministry, I will usually whisper this prayer, Holy Spirit, just anoint me afresh and anew for what you're calling me to do. So does it make a lot of difference? Not really. Listen, the thing that makes a difference is that you pray. God hears you. He knows what's going on in your life. The Lord Jesus Christ sitting at the Father's right hand making intercession for us. He sent the Holy Spirit to live inside of us to enable us. I think of him as the enabler. So when you and I pray, we can pray Father, or we can pray Lord Jesus, or we can pray Holy Spirit. He's going to hear no matter which one you address. Well, thank you for joining us today on this broadcast of In Touch. And remember, no matter what trial or challenge you're facing, when you fight your battles on your knees, that is in prayer, you're going to win every time.